Hello and welcome to uh, what is part five of our most recent cruise, our New England and Canada cruise uh, out of Port Liberty, New Jersey on Liberty of the Seas. This is Halifax, Nova Scotia. As you can see, a uh, kind of a gloomy overcast day. Uh, those uh, gentlemen on the pier there are waiting to tie up the Carnival Legend. Uh, the Legend will be Pulling in shortly, it is, uh, I think, making a diversionary stop here, running from Hurricane Lee, as we will be doing shortly. But Halifax is uh, it's a nice port, and this is our first trip there. Because the weather was a little gloomy and rainy, we didn't do any excursions. We're going to walk along the harbor walk, alongside the, uh, the edge of the city, uh, and it's a very, very nice walk, as you will see. Uh, getting off here in Halifax is very easy. The pier is uh, is uh, right adjacent here. It's easy to walk through. And uh, there's a very, very nice uh, shopping area that's inside the uh, the port building here that you will get to see uh, toward the end of the video. We are at Pier 21. And as you'll see in just a moment, uh, walking through the, uh, the building is... Uh, straightforward process and as you get to the other side street side uh, there are uh, excursion buses for you to catch there are taxis and ubers and that sort of thing but uh, you'll get a glimpse of the shopping area as we walk through but again we will visit it uh, before we leave um, and actually if you're just looking for basic souvenir type stuff this is as far as you need to go this is a very very well supplied and equipped shopping area with all kinds of local products and the basic tourist stuff that you would come to expect wherever you wherever you go at any port. But we're going to go out and walk along the Harbor Walk. We're going to make our way toward an area that is uh, full of little food huts and buildings that you can eat, uh, try local food, and uh, very, very nice. As you can see here, the walk is very well kept. It's uh, very scenic. And there are shops and restaurants along the walkway. Uh, we visit a very, very nice woolens shop that has some very nice things. We made several purchases there. The statues, for the most part, are illustrating the immigrants, the people that came through here. Statue of Mr. Cunard, Cunard Cruise Lines. Not really any way to get lost here. Stay on the path, stay on the boardwalk, and you will uh, reach your destination. Another statue here that uh, commemorates the immigrants. And here is Carnival Legend. It finally made it here in the port. Uh, we will be on Carnival Legend next year um, on a British Isles cruise, a nine-day cruise that will leave from Southampton and visit uh, Wales, Ireland, Scotland, Liverpool. Should be a very nice cruise. Looking forward to it. Looking back toward the ships and just follow the boardwalk. Even with two ships, it was not particularly crowded. I think a lot, a lot of people probably did take excursions into the to the uh, local areas. And of course, as you can see, if you want to walk into the city, you're right there. You're right on the edge of the city, so it's a very easy process. George's Island, which is uh, the island we looked at just at the very beginning. You saw a little lighthouse on it. And we're approaching the area where the little food huts or houses or, or whatever, for lack of a better word, And we're a little early. A lot of the places are just not quite open yet, but they will be within a few minutes. 
a lot of folks are taking the time to check out the menus. Now, some of the souvenir shops, of course, are open in anticipation of the cruise ships being here. As you can see, it's a working port. Now, specifically, there were a couple of items we wanted to try. We wanted to try the poutine. We never had poutine. We're going to give it a try. And we wanted to try beaver tails, which is essentially fried bread in some type of, of coating. We're just going to get the, the standard cinnamon sugar coating. Now, the beaver tails here we have tried in Skagway, Alaska, where they call them Klondike Doughboys. Uh, both are very good, honestly. Uh, I guess if I had to give the nod, I'd, I'd go with Skagway, but... Very, very good. As you can see, some of the places are souvenir shops as well. And just past the gray building on the right, there are restrooms. Ice cream at Cow's. And again, it's a, uh, a very pleasant walk. Um, lots of folks, I think, had the same idea just to walk along the, the shoreline. This is where we get the beaver tails. They're not quite open yet. Now, just to the right of this building, on the right side of the picture, are the restrooms. You can barely see them there on the right, I think. And uh, they were nice. They were well kept up. There's seating areas along the, the route as well. Different diversions. And again, it's a working port. There are out there people with boats. Very, very scenic area. Pleasant place to be. Pleasant place to walk. Pleasant place to sit and have a bite. Poutine. Poutine is essentially french fries with some type of brown gravy and uh, cheese curds. And uh, what's not to like? They were good. Very, very good. Nothing unpleasant about them at all. And of course, the uh, beaver tails, fried bread, and again, fried bread rolled in sugar and cinnamon. Again, what's not to like? This is good stuff. Perhaps not the healthiest, but good stuff. And we certainly did enjoy them. And again, we hit several of the shops on our way back. This is back at the port. This is the shopping area at the port. Now, i got to tell you, if there's any basic souvenir stuff you're looking for or local items, this is the place. They have everything here uh, well laid out. Nice folks working here. Contactless payment or Apple Pay worked wherever we went. Um, very nice. And if you, if you just are looking for souvenirs, you don't want to get off the boat more than a few few yards then just get off the boat come here and do your shopping get back on board you can do that as well but there's a lot to see in the area of course now we're coming toward the end of the video now as we were leaving we were serenaded by a kilted individual playing bagpipes and uh, it lasts uh, about three minutes and uh, if you want to watch it all please do if you don't I understand but I thought it was kind of unique and fun, and so I'm going to leave it in the video. Uh, overall, Halifax was a pleasant stop for us. Uh, we will be hurrying back to New York for an extra day there, and our next video will be New York City. So enjoy the bagpipe, the serenade, if you're inclined, if you're so inclined. Otherwise, uh, thank you for joining us, and uh, we appreciate you being here. And uh, please stay with us on the channel, and we will talk to you uh, next time. Thanks a lot.